I'm pumped about this new app that I've created. It is a fun hang hangman game uh, that you can play with your friends and definitely use to build your JavaScript skills. Boom. Then you can play again and reset. All right, you ready? Let's do this. Okay, so in the description of my video, I have the link to my Google, Google Drive. Uh, it'll pop you up to right here. Then you'll hit uh, hangman and then go ahead and press download to get the starter files All right once it's download it's gonna pop up up here Go ahead and drag your zip to your desktop and then du double click you can go ahead and throw your zip out I'm gonna minimize this and now here's the starter package of your of the game that I've given to you go ahead and drop that in Visual Studio Code. And now we got our code. We can go put that full screen. Let me zoom in for you. Perfect. Okay, so we got our images, index.html. If you can see, we got the starter code here, hangman game up in JavaScript and make sure the links are correct. So I got style.css that links us to here and then here is our JavaScript. This is what we're going to end up creating. All right. All right, so go ahead and make a folder and it's going to be scripts. As you can see here we got scripts for the folder. Enter that and you can drop your word list into scripts, move, and if you want to open up your word list, this is the word, the random word choicing list. This is the array that, you, that you'll be able to use. And if you want to switch up the words, uh, you can use ChatGPT to go ahead and just make you a random set of words and hints. Uh, and then inside of scripts, go ahead and make a new file and go script.js and then here is where we're going to start building our code. Cool? Right now your go live should just simply look like this. I'm going to put that at full screen. Your go live should look like that. All right. So step one, <clears throat> we are going to create our main variables. I'm going to label this selecting elements, whoops, elements, from the page, from our HTML, meaning it is now we are going to be targeting these classes that uh, build up the structure of our page. Okay, these are our variables here. Let me do that. Variables. Good. So we're going to start with const. We're, oops. Word display equals document dot query selector. And if you notice, if I use the dot, that means it's the class word display. And then put the semicolon. Save that. So specifically for in my HTML that is targeting my class right here, word display. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to have a total of five more. I can copy that. Paste, paste, One, two, three, four, five. One more time. Paste. These red lines, you just 
shouldn't have can't have the same variable name but we're going to change these next one is going to be guess text again query selector and it is going to be guesses text and B next key board div and this is going to be for our keyboard here's going to be for our hangman image awesome here we're going to go hangman box and img image here we got game model very good make sure to remember to keep the dot there the dot signifies that we're targeting the class model and then last one play again button btf and then button you're going to really want to make sure that all of these classes that it's targeting uh, that it's targeting is spelled the exact same way that it is spelled in here okay script for this last one all of these it's document but this last one is going to be game model game model perfect perfect boom 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 make sure the spelling is on point very good and semicolons there all right that is section one okay whoops so now step two we're going to initialize the game variables <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to go let current word and then we're creating current word correct letters and wrong guess count. And we're going to make a const max max guesses. We want our max guesses to be six. Got it? Okay. Perfect, perfect. Uh, and then in this part, now we're going to create a function to call these to make them work. Um, is We're going to go const. Our first function is going to be reset game reset game equals
Boom, curly brace. All right, so inside of this reset game, now we're gonna create this uh, correct letters and wrong guess, right? And so for correct letters, variable, we're gonna put an empty array. And wrong guess count. We're going to start it at zero. Good. Now we're going to initialize our hangman image. Dot S R C equals, and uh, a different way that we're going to do this is call our images, like target our images folder, and then we're going to start off with the hangman, oops, hangman dash zero dash S V G and that is what our initial if you look our initial image is right here that's the one with no like n like no wrong guesses have been picked so it's just the hangman thing okay and now we're going to go Guess text dot inner text inner text equals this is a back tick, not a quotation. It's at the top left beside the number one. Go ahead and put this money sign and then we're going wrong guess count forward slash max guesses Perfect. Very good, very good. Awesome. So this is going to, what we're doing is resetting the game state and updating what the game board is going to look like. So we just want it to be at zero, resetting it to an empty hangman thing. And then now we're going, this is, this part is going to create the empty letter slots. Okay, so we're going to go word display dot inner HTML equals current word dot split whoops empty quotations dot map awesome equals and then again remember back tick and then showing for our li class equals letter close the quotations and then close the li tag 
and then outside was go dot join. Empty quotations. Boom. Okay, so that's gonna empty word slots. Next. is going to enable keyboard buttons. So we're going to go keyboard display dot query selector all this time. And we want the button, oh, button. And then what we're doing here for each, the loop, BDN, for each of these buttons, BDN dot disable equals false. Very good. Go ahead and save that. And then for now, we're going to hide the game model. Class list dot remove show. Put quotations around this though. Sweet. Okay. So right now I'm saving this. We're gonna just look at the game. Nothing should happen right now. It should look exactly the same like this. Um, but what I want you to do is to call the reset game. We're going to delete it in a second, but I want you to call the reset game. Call this function we just created to make sure that we did everything right. Save, call it, and now this is what should be displayed. You don't have any hints. You don't have any keyboard yet. It shows incorrect, boom, and you have your hangman display. This is what I was talking about. So that was this. So okay. So if your code, let me uh, make that smaller right there. If your code and it's displaying this, that means step one is complete. Setting up just the reset portion of the game. Perfect. Good job. You're on a great start. For step three, time for step three. Right now, our project should just look like this. Okay, time for step three. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, step one was right here. Step two, uh, initiate, in, initiated the just set, reset of the game, just like this. Okay, step three now is gonna be, we're gonna create a function, function uh, to get a random word and and set up the game the game okay i'm gonna call it that it's important to write your comments so that you know what part of your code does what okay so we're going to start off with creating our function const <clears throat> And we're gonna call this get, oh, make sure I just ended up doing it, but remember how we called reset game? Make sure to delete that. And now your code will end up looking like this. Wherever I had the reset game, make sure to delete that. I didn't specifically say that, but yeah, now I said it. <laughs> uh, okay, so now we're making a function and we're gonna call reset game in a second. Um, and this function is gonna, be called get 
random word. This is going to let you set the game up. Get random word equals uh, open parentheses equals and boom. All right, this sets up our function. And this right here is showing where your array is being processed in your code. So we got, this is picking a random word and hint from your word list array. All right, so this is gonna be const parentheses word hint. Good. Go ahead and put a space there and then equals. Um, <clears throat> and then, so now we're gonna go word list. That is our array. And let's go math dot floor math dot random sweet times word list dot length. Very, very good. And then uh, semicolon. Awesome. Make sure this is being saved. And then <clears throat> this is going to set the current word and update. Oops. Up date whatever hint that you got so let's go current word current word awesome and then we want word good if you noticed now this is highlighted because we are now calling and using word what we have here uh, next we're going to call hint. Right now, see how it's faded? Meaning we haven't, we're not using it yet. It needs to be used. So uh, next is now the hint, updating the hint. So it's document dot query selector and parentheses uh, dot Hint slash text. Oh, need quotations. Dot hint dash text space B. Good. And then dot inner HTML equals hint. And then watch the hint up there. Boom. See that? Hint, hint. Now they are highlighted. Nice, nice, perfect, perfect. Uh, and then now we're going to call our reset game function. Call reset game. And let's go reset game parentheses, semicolon. Very good, very good. Uh, so now, for this to work or be displayed on our page, you need to call the function. And let's go ahead, we're gonna keep this one in here. And I want you to remember that this is starting the game with a random word. All right, so now let's call the get 
random get random word function boom and now it should display here there's a small error right here if you go back change this to text and then I notice I didn't put the curl the closing angle bracket save and then take out the dot this dot has nothing to do with it I just noticed that is an error save and now it should show yes your random word your random hint if you refresh it is now updating getting a random word from the random list and now you're good so step three if your code if your project looks like that and your code is here then you are good for step three perfect great job nice um, so now let's do step four again just a reminder in the last video I fixed inner HTML to be text I added the closing uh, angle bracket for right here on the li and then I updated that just to make sure that your code is looking the same okay so now we're gonna do step four remember this is um, getting your code getting your game to start uh, calling get random word so you want to keep this now in your code leave it at the bottom um, also what I noticed see how I'm labeling each function I forgot to label this one so we're gonna go this is our reset game function Yeah, boom, boom, boom. Um, okay, so under our get world function, now step four, we're going to create uh, the function um, that handles like the end of game screen. Function to handle the end of game window end of game win or lose okay so that's going to be we're going to create the function const game over and we're going to run a parameter is victory. I'm going to run that parameter equals angle bracket curly braces. Okay. So what we're going to do <clears throat> is this is going to allow show the game over Moto with details, whether you won or you lost. Uh, let's, let's write that with win or lose. With win or loss. Okay, so we're going to start with function Moto text equals is victory question mark question mark uh, these are back ticks remember the, the symbol beside the number one to the left of the number one you found the word And then right here, and then outside of the back ticks, we're going to do this, and then colon, and now this one is quotation, the correct word was Nice. 
And then let's put semicolon after that. All right, so now we're gonna fill in the, the information that should go there. So we're gonna go game model dot query selector. And first it's gonna be an image. IMG. And we want that image, SRC, to equal to be uh, in our images folder, calling our images folder forward slash, and then money sign, curly braces is victory the question mark boom and then it's going to be the lost gif that we have and then dot gif and semicolon oh uh, I forgot to close that right here good 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 save we are just to show you what we're targeting is this images lost gif and here's our victory gif that's what we're targeting. Okay. So back to it. Victory or loss. Here we go. GIF. <clears throat> now game model dot again query selector. Now our H4. Inner text. Oops. Is Awesome. Semicolon there. All right, so that's going to give the title that we want. We're going to have the picture, then the title. And then next, we're going to target a paragraph. Query selector. Paragraph. Very good. This time, inner HTML. Again, back ticks. All right, so now we're grabbing our model text right here and then we're going to call a break and whatever the current word is is what we want to pop up and then closing B awesome Good, and then last thing we want it to show. So game model dot class list. 
dot add and then show perfect okay good so now let's check to see if it's working so currently right now our program should look like this we need to call game over to check it so let's go game over put the parentheses and a semicolon and then save command s and then we can check and now this our game over page should pop up awesome so now you your game over function is working step four is complete you're ready to move on to the next so on to step five this game over function you can now delete you now delete and make sure this stays at the bottom so we're going to write down here step five is going to be we're creating um, the keyboard buttons the keyboard buttons for our project uh, so we're going to go creating a loop a for loop actually um, to display our keyboard keyboard and keyboard buttons all right so we're gonna go let's go four Um, if you, I did that pretty fast, so let me delete that. I go four, and then if you see on this drop down list, I tab like with my the arrows, I went down four, and then it gives me the structure. Boom. So for this first let, instead of index, go ahead and put an I, and then instead of zero, you're putting 97, and then there's I, and then after this angle bracket, go ahead and put equals. And then instead of array length, we're doing uh, 122 and I plus plus. Perfect. Okay. The const, the element is going to be button, a button. And instead of this array, we're going document dot create element and we're creating button. Good. And we got the semicolon there. Okay, so now for button, we want inner text and we're going to use whoops equals string dot array it's going to be from this chr code and then parenthesis i awesome semicolon uh, and then now we want keyboard, keyboard div, that is the variable that we entered up at the top, dot append child button. Very good. Okay, and now save that, and then now we're going to add an event listener to make sure it's seeing when we click it. So adding a click event listener for each button. And all we got to do is put button dot add event listener. Click and then that that's for event 
And here is our, we're calling a function that we're about to create next, but it is init, like initialize game, and then e, and then dot target. String, that's nice, and our dot. And put the I there. That's what we did earlier. Code, very good. And finish with a semicolon. I'll remove this space right here. Save that, and that should be good for uh, step five. So looking at our code to make sure keyboard is up. Nice. Perfect. Keyboard is up. Nice and looking good. Very good. But now, as you see, I click the buttons and nothing pops up. That's the next step. All right. We've been doing great coding so far. Now we're going to make this game functional. Actually work. Okay. So... Let's move this down and go right here. We're going to create our last function. Step six is going to be a function to handle the game logic. Um, <clears throat> yeah, when when uh, yeah when a uh, letter is clicked okay like for it to actually work so we're going to start off by creating const and then like initialize game and let's go equals and we're going to run two parameters in this function that is good because you need that in an AP for the AP project clicked letter so a uh, button and click the letter and then equals and curly brace that all right so inside our function the first thing that we're gonna do is add some selection checking if the clicked letter is in the current word, if it's in current word. All right, the way we're gonna do that is put if, and here we can go ahead and tap down to give the information. The condition is gonna be current word dot includes clicked letter so we're checking of that if current word includes clicked letter and the way we're going to figure that out first we need this it will update the displayed letters if clicked is correct. All right, so we're gonna go boom, one, two, three. Current word. Put a dot right there. Here's a loop for it to continually update. We're gonna loop letter and index. And then in between those parentheses, we got equals in that, and then curly braces, enter. Very good. Over here, make sure to put a semicolon. Then let's go back in here. And then again, some selection is gonna be, our conditional code is gonna be if, 
letter equals clicked letter. Then what we want is for correct letters to push, which is this is entering it, push letter and now on display we want word display dot query selector all though this time li index dot inner HTML text letter sweet um, sorry this right here should actually close right here good and then after letter here semicolon and also word display dot query selector all li index and then class list good All right, all right, doing good. Remember to put semicolon there. Okay, so we got that. We got our first condition here. If this is true, this will be met. This is, yeah, updating displayed letters if, if it is correct. And then now we need to do an else in case it's incorrect. So we're going to go else. We can, this is going to update wrong guest count and hang man image if letter guest is incorrect. Okay, so now we're going to do wrong guest count, and we're going to add it to add one to it, and also now updating the hangman hangman image dot src equals backticks image forward slash hang man wrong guess count whichever number it's at so if it's one two or three or four five or six which would be the full hangman it's updating it s v g and that works because how we have our images labeled, see, this will be a one guess count wrong, two guess count wrong, three, four, five, and then six for the final. So hangman, and then filling it in, checking the guess count. Sick. Awesome. Okay. Keep that, keep that. And then under this, we got... We need to disable the clicked button so it can't be clicked again. 
like if you picked L, you're not gonna guess L again. So it's gonna cancel it out. So we'll go button dot disabled equal true. And then this next one will update the displayed guess count. And we're going to do guess text inner text equals remember that's the back tick just beside that number one quotations curly brace wrong guess count Max, whoops, max guesses. Semicolon. Okay. These are the commands that we're putting. So we got selection here. We have a loop right here. Boom, boom. And here are some commands that we need. And then the last commands, or um, last conditions we want to check for is check if the game should end based on win or lose conditions. So remember if word If wrong, not word, wrong guess count equals max guesses, then we're going to return our game over function that we created. Okay. Um, boom, boom. Uh, we don't need these curly braces for this. Just semicolon. And then, last condition is going to be if Correct letter dot length equals current word length. Then we're going to return game over true. False is the loss. Game over true is for the winners. Awesome. Okay, so let's uh, let's test this out first. Go ahead and save. Let me see if I can make it a little smaller so you can see it all. Good. So I saved it. Okay, save. Now let's check. Uh, I'm just gonna, uh oh. Well, that did work, awesome. So, hold on. Ah. I see, I see the error. I'm glad, I want, you, I want us all to see it. So I'm not even gonna edit this one out. Um, see I got image where I'm chasing, I'm changing what the image should be. 
As you notice, here the image is correct. Now as I start picking things, the image is incorrect. Good. Reason why right here. Um, my folder is called images. I have image right here. Yes. Save. Okay. Now we should be good. Um, boom. That's the second image. Two errors wrong. Good. Good job, Blaine. I'm glad that you noticed that. Uh, okay, so let's see if it's working. Boom, and it's working. Meaning that shows that it is wrong and messed up. Our play again function isn't working, uh, which we didn't call yet. What we need to do to make that play again function work is we need to initialize it. So right here, this will add event listener for the play again button and that's just play again btn dot add event listener um, and so when clicked, we're going to run, meaning refresh, get word, get random word, right from the start, which will refresh it. All right, so a light, happy laugh. What is that? Um, giggle? Nope. Uh, Giggle! Oh, giggle starts with G. <laughs> giggle. Boom. Skills. I got it. Congrats. So now our, our, uh, our win function works. And then play again. Does our play again work? Uh, let me go check it. Clicked. Ah, oh, not clicked. Click. Save. All right, so to embrace, well, we, we saw that the getting it correct works. Now let's see, let's just get this wrong. Boom, game over. It was a snuggle. Does the play again work? Skills, and then we're refreshed. Perfect, perfect. Good, good. We learn from our mistakes. We get better at debugging. Very good. So now, awesome. Be proud of yourself. You made the... Um, Hangman game app. Uh, let me scroll through the code just in case you, you're wondering if you missed something. Check it out, check it out. Awesome, awesome. So good, flow through it, customize it yourself. Um, but yeah, you created the game. Great job.